Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Thank you, Aubrey, for joining me here in Dallas, Texas, at the broadcast live across the nation on an FM platform. You're here to talk about your controversial comment. I was reading some things about you, and you say, that, now, you tell me if you said this. Donald Trump is your soulmate? Donald Trump Jr. is your soulmate? Yeah, not senior. <laughs> Definitely not senior. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> Um, and the Don Trump Jr. That, that is my soulmate um, was not the man that you see today. He chose to become that instead of be in our relationship. And, you know, that's I just want to clarify that because I'm politically minded and I'm not a, a fan of this president or any of his behavior. Okay. We're going to get into X on the beach, but I got to ask you this. Donald Trump Jr., when you made this statement, according to what I'm reading, he was married to this lady named Vanessa. And you can still make that public statement and feel comfortable? Yes, because marriage is um, understood differently for people that have billions of dollars versus people that don't. The way that we understand marriage is not the way that they do. And I can't speak on what their arrangement was, but I can only speak on my end, what I know and what I experienced. And I was in an open relationship in front of the world with a man that I loved when I was in it. Okay. Did your statement about Donald Trump Jr., did that get you on X in the Beach? Uh, X on the Beach in Season 3. Was that a part of getting you on the, on the uh, show? Uh, no, I've had a career in the industry since I was 17. I'm a singer with two double platinum albums. Ah. So, going on X on the Beach, wh what, who did you bring or who came on to surprise you then? Well, you'll have to watch. You know I can't give that away. I thought I could get it. Okay, <laughs> tell me about some of the antics on X and the Beach. You can talk about the other people because they're not here today. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be shady. Um, no, you know, everybody came on either looking for love or looking for revenge in regards to the exes. And we basically just got involved in each other's relationships for uh, a month and a half and lived through each other's pain. There's cheating, there's lies, there's open relationships. There's all different kinds of people with all different kinds of experiences that are different. And so we all learned from each other and grew. Some grew apart, some grew together. Okay. Were there any surprises on there? Because, you know, this, this is a highly charged uh, um, series or, or docu-series. Were there any real surprises there? Well, I don't know. If you had to walk out to a beach and have all your exes run up on you, wouldn't you be a little surprised? I don't know. Was Paul? Uh, they say Paulie D. You guys had a relationship. Is he in, involved in this in any kind of way? God, I hope not. That's definitely not an ex that I would have wanted to wash up on the beach. But isn't that what the whole show is about, you know, these exes that you don't want? Some of them are about that. Some of the exes come back to the beach looking to rekindle and feel that they um, still have love for the person that they're there to see. There's all kinds okay. of different exes that come out of the water. Okay. And your your big moment is going to be, uh, I know we got to watch, but give us a little sneak peek of your big moment on there. My big moment is every second on the show, Mom. I run it. Okay. That's pretty confident. But I'm a I think confident you're pretty gal. confident about yourself because um, uh, uh, you talked about Donald Trump Jr., which I thought was pretty uh, hard hitting. You talk about your previous uh, shows that you've been on, and you call yourself, uh, what, the queen of reality shows? I forgot what you call yourself. Yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely the queen of many reality shows. Yeah, you do. That, and that's, that's pretty bold. And and you feel comfortable saying that? You know, we live in a society where we have fought so long and hard as women to be able to be respected, to get equal pay, to be equal in general. We still have yet to see a female president. I think a little confidence from a woman is a good thing. Okay. So, oh, I see you call yourself reality royalty. Is that because you've been on a lot of reality shows? Uh, that's just the title that they gave me. But, sure, I'm reality royalty. Yes, I've been on many. Okay, and you were on The Princess. Is this where you met Don Jr.? 
I did meet Don on Apprentice, yes. Yeah, the celebrity edition. So you have been around. What's next for you after X on the Beach then? Uh, well, like I said, I'm a singer. I'm part of a girl group, Danity Kane, that's a double platinum selling girl group. And we came from a show called Making the Band, which is going to be brought back to MTV next year. And I'm hoping that there will be some type of series along with that that will follow Danity Kane, Day 26, and Donnie Klang, which are also the groups that were put together with us during our run on Making the Band for six seasons. All right. I'm going to take this Facebook question because they listen to us and watch us on Facebook. They want to know, in the new season, season three, did you find love? You know, I can't tell you that. You're going to have to watch and see. Well, you see they're invested in your life, obviously, to (laughs) ask you that. So when do you want us to watch X on the Beach so we can get some real details? Tuesday at 8 p.m. on MTV. Aubrey O'Day, it was a pleasure speaking with you. I look forward to watching you to watching you on the upcoming X on the Beach. Thank I think you. it's going to be pretty hot on MTV. Thank you. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch my phone pouch is a great invention it allows me to go hands free pocket free purse free even belt free head on over to myphonepouch.com